In August 2022, the California High Speed Rail Authority Board of Directors approved the High Speed Rail Alignment for the approximately 43 miles San Francisco to San Jose project section. The approval of this project section completes environmental clearance for high speed rail in Northern California. Approval of this project section is a monumental step, moving this project section closer to being shovel ready for when pre construction and construction funding becomes available. Come along for a tour of this section from the north to the south. The station at 4th and King Streets in San Francisco will serve as the interim Northern Terminal Station for high-speed rail service until the completion of the downtown rail extension. That project will build a tunnel from the 4th and King Station to downtown San Francisco at the Salesforce Transit Center, the ultimate Northern Terminal Station for Phase 1 high-speed rail in San Francisco. The 1.3-mile tunnel is being delivered by the Transbay Joint Powers Authority, of which the authority is a partner. High-speed rail service will complement nearby connecting partners, including AC Transit, Amtrak, BART, Golden Gate Transit, Greyhound, Muni, Samtrans, and Westcat. Before we proceed further south, let's discuss the basics of this project section. High-speed rail service between San Francisco and San Jose will use a blended system that will support modern electric Caltrain and high-speed rail trains primarily on shared track within the existing rail corridor. This approach minimizes impacts on surrounding communities, reduces project costs, improves safety, and expedites implementation. The corridor is already being electrified, with the authority providing about a third of the funding for the project. Electrifying the corridor will improve Caltrain service immediately, while also laying the foundation for future high-speed rail use of the infrastructure. Just as they do in metropolitan areas worldwide, the authority's plans call for train speeds within urban areas to be lower than the maximum speeds in the Central Valley. In the blended corridor, both high-speed rail and Caltrain trains will be able to operate at a top speed of 110 miles an hour, compared to 79 miles an hour today. Just south of the San Francisco County line, the Authority has planned a Light Maintenance Facility, or LMF, in the city of Brisbane. The LMF will serve as a location where trains are cleaned, serviced, and stored. It will also be a service point for trains needing emergency repair services and will also supply trains and crew to the San Francisco Terminal Station at the start of the day. The Northern California LMF is one of three train maintenance facilities that will support the overall California high-speed rail system. The authority plans for another LMF in Southern California and a heavy maintenance facility in the Central Valley. Designed, constructed, and operated with LEED Gold certification, high-speed rail maintenance facilities will be energy efficient and environmentally sensitive. The next stop on the alignment is the Milbrae SFO station. This station will serve San Mateo County and provide convenient connections to BART, Caltrain, Samtrans, and the San Francisco International Airport. For the existing Milbrae Caltrain BART station to accommodate high-speed rail service, the authority is planning modifications that include a new station entrance hall with ticketing and support services, two new tracks, and a new high-speed rail platform. An overhead pedestrian crossing will connect high-speed rail to Caltrain and BART. Moving down the peninsula, high-speed rail trains will travel through the 25th Avenue grade separation in San Mateo. The authority contributed $84 million to the project, which was completed in 2021. The improvements connect neighborhoods on opposite sides of the track, reduce traffic congestion, increase safety, and pave the way for high-speed rail. The project is an excellent example of agencies working together to make mutually beneficial infrastructure investments at the state, regional, and local levels. Safety is a top priority for the authority. For at-grade crossings, 
where roads cross railroad tracks. The authority works closely with the Federal Railroad Administration and the California Public Utilities Commission to ensure the design complies with all relevant safety guidelines. The high-speed rail alignment will run within existing rights of way, and improvements will be made to 38 of the 39 existing public at grade road crossings. These modifications will ensure the high-speed rail project will meet or exceed federal safety requirements while substantially improving the condition of these crossings. Many cities along the alignment are also planning grade separations, where roadways are realigned over or under a railway to eliminate those crossings. Continuing south, the alignment passes through the center of Silicon Valley. At Scott Boulevard in Santa Clara, we reach the northern boundary of the San Jose to Merced project section, overlapping with the San Francisco to San Jose project section until Control Point Lick near Tanian Station in San Jose. This portion of the high-speed rail alignment was approved by the Authorities Board of Directors in April of 2022. Although already approved in April as part of the San Jose to Merced project section, Deridan Station is a major component of the high-speed rail system in Northern California. Deridan Station is poised to become one of the busiest intermodal hubs on the West Coast, the Grand Central of the West. High-speed rail will join Deridan's existing Caltrain, ACE, Capital Corridor, Amtrak, VTA, and future BART services. The Authority, the City of San Jose, VTA, Caltrain, and MTC are working together to develop a bigger vision for Deridan Station as a major intermodal hub. High-speed rail stations will serve as more than just a train stop. They will transform cities, revitalize neighborhoods, and create community hubs. We are making tremendous progress in bringing fast, reliable, green and modern high-speed rail to California, the first such system in the entire country. Passengers will travel from San Francisco to the Los Angeles Basin in under three hours when the phase one system is completed with no greenhouse gas emissions or traffic. Thanks for riding along with us in this video. If you want more information, be sure to follow us on all of our social media channels or visit hsr.ca.gov.